What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Up next, we have the Air Jordan 10 Seattle. Before we hop into this, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, it helps the channel out and let's jump right into it here. These released back in 2019 as a new remastered updated version of the Air Jordan 10 Seattles that we have not seen since the 90s. Um, so obviously these were a version or a, a colorway for the Seattle Supersonics, hence, Air Jordan 10 Seattle um, and the colorway as well. As you can see, we have the retro box that they've included with the shoes for these kicks, uh, which is super dope. And to me, a very uh, dope shoe that was a little slept on at the time um, that you could have gotten on a bargain for the most part. So um, let's jump right into it. Now, on my pair, um, I actually had the, uh, the Chicago pair, which on that pair, the tumbled leather was a little bit different. It was a lot more strong. It looked more like this mid area right here. Um, but as you can see on here, it kind of like fades out towards the front of the shoe. I kind of like that complete tumble leather all across, but overall a good shoe. Um, with that same little colorway that we have, you get the white upper, you get the black mud guard and the black and green sole. Um, you also, around the tongue, you get that complete black look um, with the different, the, the technology for um, obviously lacing. So um, you get your laces and then you kind of get this elastic uh, band in between each lace uh, for the shoes. Um, on the inside, we get the green inside we actually get the black insole when it has nike air on the inside um we have the 11 right there for my size so the size was imprinted on the inside as we jump around to the back here we get the black jump man and as we look on the bottom here we get the black and green with the yellowish gold jump man again for the seattle supersonics uh, bring our signs back <laughs> anyways uh, with the achievements lined along the green part on the sole or the green stripes uh, you get some of his big his one of his uh, biggest achievements from each year all the way up until right before these were released um, so very very dope um, now as far as QC on these uh, one thing that was inconsistent with my pair um, as you can see the tongue here um, I get a full, completely tumbled leather uh, tongue on this shoe over here, the right shoe, um, versus it's not as tumbled here on the left shoe. So not a huge deal, um, but I do like the tumbled leather a lot better. So I do wish that this pair had that tumbled leather uh, a little bit better. Um, another thing, with the shoes is obviously the um, the pull up in the back, um, which is used obviously to get the shoes on and um, a very simple silhouette and colorway. So um, not much to go over here. Um, if you're a fan of tens, I'm pretty sure these are a pair that you either have, you wish you had, or you were going for. Um, if you're not a fan of tens, of course you, you probably don't like it much, but uh, with me, I do love tens. I'm kind of in that minority group of loving tens. Um, and I actually love these basic colorways. Um, uh, a lot of the colorways I'm not a fan of, they get kind of wild on tans, um, even the patent leathers and just all kind of stuff. Um, but uh, these colorways right here, I love. So I love these, Chicago Orlando's, things of that nature still. Um, but yeah, outside of that guys, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.